we want to encourage one another and we know that God has made us with varying gifts and varying abilities. So instead of looking and saying, Lord, why didn't you make me like that? We can instead, instead see a, a woman who's crafty. Here's, this is a good example. I am not crafty. <laughs> I could, my son is like, I'm glad that my kids get a cake for their birthday. <laughs> but our birthday parties aren't going to be elaborate and crazy and have all these fun things because I, that's not where I'm gifted. I'm, and, um, but I can take my kids to a birthday party and I can look at that woman and I can say, the Lord has gifted you this way. Look how administrative you are. Look how creative you are that you could design a cake that looks like the Statue of Liberty. That's amazing. <laughs> That will never come from me. Right. But praise the Lord that you can do that. And I'm going to delight in it and eat it. Mm-hmm. And um, I think that's what we need to see more of. More of women just encouraging one another. Yeah. You love fitness. Look at you on Facebook talking about running again. Instead of being like, oh, there she is talking about running again. Instead, we could say fitness or, or training is of some value. Sure. Let her enjoy this. I'm going to, instead of judge her and think ill of her or compare, I'm so lazy, I don't do that. Maybe it'll inspire me. Maybe today I'll take a walk or I can just encourage her and think good thoughts. Um, So I think those are just two real practical ways that I think we can, especially we've got the Pinterest, I'm not on there, but that's a breeding ground for comparison. We should be able to laugh at ourselves and just enjoy that there are people who can do those things rather than just be discouraged or discourage them, which is, I think, our temptation.